Hey, Sean Clement here from the Richmond Hill Golf Learning Center. And uh, today's video is going to be uh, to elaborate on a couple of videos that, uh, that I have been, that I've put out, eh, I would say fairly recently. Uh, the Be a Better Ball Striker video and the Tilted Spiral video. Okay, and we're gonna add a little bit to that because my favorite video of all is that Tilted Spiral video, okay? So you'll notice at the beginning of the video when you see my son uh, is on this little apparatus that we have, there's a new, uh, a new park that opened up near our house and they got this, this little Tilted Spiral is what I call it. I don't know what the name of it is. If somebody knows what the name of that apparatus is, I'd really like to know. So th this thing that, that spins on a tilted axis and when you add the weight of a human body on it, you'll notice that when, it's, when it, the, the, the body is swinging underneath the axis where gravity is, is acting the most on it, then that's where the, the body speeds up. And if we do, if you make the move just right with the right amount of tone, then you're able to flip yourself up on the other side and then, and then continually perpetuate the motion. So what we need to do is we need to trap this tilt forwards. You really want to feel like you're over the ground with the chest, but not at the expense of that posture or the, the brace on your feet. So you really feel like the arches of your feet are solidly plugged against the ground like some suction cups. So now, once we have this forward tilt, we brace it against the left side. Now there's a big difference between against the left side and on top of the left side. And this is what I want to discuss. This would be on top of the left side. So you notice how my head has moved to a position that's inside my left foot to a position that's now on top. So you know right now, my weight on top of my left foot, there's no weight on my right, and it's very easy for me to slide out to the outside of my stance and lose my balance. Whereas if I'm against the left side, I'm using the right side to brace against the inner portion of my left side, and the only way to do that is with my head in this tilted position. So this is, this is going to naturally instill the proper tilt in your swing. Now, if you over tilt, well now, you'll feel like the weight is on your right and you don't have anything braced against the left. So the key phrase here is against the left side. So now from there, top of the swing, are we still feeling the right side bracing pressure against the left side? If the lower spine swings out, see right now, yeah, I'm against or on top of the left side, but I'm not doing it from the right, am I? I'm doing it from the top of my, my body. So it's gotta be done from the right side. So if you let that swivel out from underneath you, now the whole axis is different coming down. You're going to be taking some deep divots and swinging across the line, pulling it to the left and slicing to the right. So we stay against, we want to establish a pressure point just inside that, that left foot, right? So it feels like you're about 70% of your weights on the left, 30% on the right. And let it feel like it stays like that. In actuality, what happens when the weight of the arms goes into the backswing, the weight will temporarily, for a fraction of a second, leave the left, go into the right, and bounce right back against the left when the weight of the arms is no longer pulling away from the target. So it pulls away momentarily, and then it'll fall right back against the left side. In your mind's eye, because you can only focus on one side of your body at a time. This is neurological, all right? You felt that you kept the weight against the left side the whole time. This is not a reverse pivot. This is not wrong. It's just the way you've perceived it, okay? So we brace against the left, stay braced against the left, all the way to the finish. So if you stay against the left side here, all the way to the finish position, so you'll notice now, the, the arms have to release towards the target. Now you've got your anchor that's gonna fully deploy this release 
and then it has no choice but then to move upwards into a nice high finish, okay? Whereas if the, 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 the head moves forward and the weight gets on top of the left side, then your finish is gonna feel like a roundhouse and you'll feel like you're losing your balance behind you, okay? So when you know you've stayed against, from the right against the left, now I got that pressure point to unwind around, so let everything fall and unwind around that pressure point and all the way into the finish. So because we're already against the left side, there is no need to push from the right side. If you slide to the right and you get stuck on the right, well, yeah, by all means, you'll have to do it. You have no choice, right? So you'll hit the ground before the ball, slice right across it. But even then, you're, you're, you're still gonna have a lot of compensations to make if you're gonna hit a straight shot. So if I stay against, I don't need to push. All I need to do is allow it to whip around that axis on the way through. The only way you'll feel that whip is if you have enough backswing to generate the amount of momentum you need to get through the golf ball. Which brings me to this. The way you want to feel coming through the ball um, when you're doing it right, it'll feel like what I call heavy momentum, massive momentum. Even if you're a small person, imagine yourself like a sumo wrestler, all right? And you plant yourself and then you, you've got this wonderful axis that you're going to glide around. Imagine this big, heavy, revolving door with thick pane glass. And you walk through that door and you come, you go and do a couple of laps around the door, then you come out the other side and the, the big door is just going boom, 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 like that, right? And the person behind you trying to get into the door is kind of, you know, flinching and making sure that they do it right or if they do it wrong, they're going to get crushed by this door, okay? So it's the same thing you want to feel coming through the ball. You do not want to feel like from the top of the swing that you're applying all this force because what happens, ugh, you're going to hit yourself, number one. Your arms are going to collapse against your body. And even if you, if you apply it too hard too soon, then the club doesn't have a chance to bottom out. And you notice it doesn't look like there's any mass behind the ball. It's, it's kind of a flicky thing. So if I brace against my left side, and now I feel the weight of my arms, the weight of the club, and I feel like the, the weight is already in motion, gliding around these big, heavy ball bearings around this nice axis. So I just, and I'm gonna use that heavy momentum to compress through the golf ball and towards the target. It's like this big locomotive coming through there. Whatever is in the way is going to get pulverized. Final note. So we talked about the pressure coming from the chest. So if on the backswing we go back a little too quickly and we allow the momentum to pull us off. So notice how the lid is coming off that pressure cooker, all right? So in order to, uh, to maintain the pressure against the left side, it happens from the chest as well as from the right side. So if the right side falls out, that means one of the walls of the pressure cooker came out. So the walls maintain themselves against the left. And the lid, if you lose the lid, you'll feel the pressure come off that left side as well, okay? So chest over the ground, if you look at the brick, brick, the brick brick video, right? That martial artist breaking the bricks, that's on my YouTube analogies page. So the lid's on top, the walls have their integrity. Now once I've got that pressure point, heavy glide around that pressure point toward the target. That felt really good. Heavy glide. Oh, that felt even better. So I hope you enjoyed that. If you have any questions, let me know.